All right, guys, welcome back. Sorry for the technical issues, but uh, we were about to head over to the graph to look at things in a little more detail. So just the rehash, we plugged in all these points, 2, 3, 1, 5, 3, 9, negative 1, 10, 0, 0, and negative 2, negative 4 into the inequality y is greater than 2x plus 3. And we got nothing was a solution to that inequality except for the point negative 1, 10. Now let's look at what that means in the context of a picture or a graph. So here, uh, if you remember from the previous video, I had drawn the line and said, these two points are solutions to this equation because the line passes through them or they're on the line. Now I'm gonna turn that line off and notice what happens when I turn on the inequality. So again, the line, the solutions are on this blue line when I turn on the inequality, you'll notice that there's a region that got shaded. Not only that, this line is also dashed or dotted, whichever uh, you prefer. The third thing I want you to observe is that these points are not in the shaded region. And if we go back and look at our work that was done here, we saw that the points uh, 2 comma 3, so 2 comma 3 is right here that was not a solution. Then one comma five was not a solution either. And it's on the border, but it's not a solution. If we look back at three comma nine, it's on the border, but it's not a solution. Negative one comma 10 is part of the region that is shaded. And if we look at zero zero, it was not a solution and it's not in the shaded region. And additionally, negative two comma negative four is not a solution, it is not in the shaded region. So the big difference between equations and inequalities, with inequalities, you're going to get a region that contains all the solutions. What I mean by that is had we plugged in negative five comma five, in fact, let's do that. If I were to take negative five comma five and plug it into my inequality, I should get a true statement because it's in the solution region. So let's continue. Two comma negative, or two times negative five is negative 10 plus three. Negative five is greater than negative seven. And that's actually a true statement. I'd much rather owe someone $5 than owe them $7. So negative five is greater than negative seven. The point of this is any point in this shaded region will satisfy this inequality. It will be a solution to that inequality. On the other hand, if you take any point here, say 10 comma five or 15 comma zero or five comma negative five or five comma negative 10, none of these points will yield a true statement. So none of them will be a solution. And on top of that, if you take any point that's on this line itself, you'll get a false statement as well. So the moral of the story is when you solve equations, all the solutions are just on a single line. And in fact, the line itself is the collection of all the solutions. It's all the things that make the equation true. When you graph or solve inequalities, you're not just getting one line, you're actually getting an entire region of the graph that makes the inequality true. And the stuff that's not shaded, that's where all the false solutions are, the, the points that don't make the inequality true. Now I'm gonna make a quick change. Imagine, and I want you to pay attention to the, the, I guess the nature of this line itself. Watch what happens when I make it a greater than or equal to. So something changed, I'm gonna change it back. Going back to greater than or equal to. Hopefully you notice that when it's just greater than, the points that are on the line itself are not solutions. But if I have greater than or equal to, I make it a solid line. That means the solid line is part of, excuse me, part of the region. So all these points that were on the line itself, these would end up being solutions also. More of this in the next couple of videos, but this hopefully clarifies or at least elucidates uh, how you find if a point is a solution, what does it mean for something to be a solution to an equation? It's just the point on the line. 
and what it means for something to be a solution to that inequality, it's an entire region of points. And let's see what happens if we had made it less than. So instead of greater than, if I made it less than, you'll notice that it's still dotted, it's still a dashed line, but now the region's on the other side. And if I had made it less than or equal to, then you'll notice that the dotted line turns into a solid line. So a lot more of this in the upcoming examples, but hopefully this sort of teases uh, the material that's to come. Hopefully this helps. We'll see you in the next video.